All right, everybody, welcome to this video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to integrate the Facebook Conversions API or Meta Conversions API on your Squarespace e-commerce website. Uh, it's super, super simple. You just have to copy paste a code and add your pixel in an app, all right? Very, very easy and it, it works super well. Uh, we've used this for clients. It has reduced their ad spend by 30% while keeping the same um, conversions so it actually made their campaigns super super profitable and it has increased their ROAS a lot so um, I already have everything set up all right on my Squarespace website I have the conversions API set up I'm just gonna show you an example to uh, to show you that it actually works you know everything works 100% so this is my events manager this is where we're gonna do all our test events to make sure that we receive every event through the conversions API uh, with the correct values I'm on a Squarespace website, as you can see uh, on, on the extension here, .squarespace.com. So let me go to the homepage. Uh, I'm just gonna go through the website and see if I receive all the events, you know, like add to cart, uh, subscribe, purchase, uh, you know, all these events, I'm supposed to get them in my events manager. So let's subscribe to the newsletter. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna just put like a random email. I'm gonna sign up, write, and you know, as a client or as a interested potential buyer, I'm gonna click on, on a product on your website. Uh, let's click on this random product here, $50, 25. Let's take this $25 product. And I wanna buy two of them. And I'm just gonna to add to cart, All right? There you go, it has been added. Now I can go to the cart and, oh, I already had a product here. I'm gonna remove this. So I have two products. $25 each, it's $50. I'm gonna check out. So already there has been plenty of events that have happened uh, on the website. So I'm not even gonna purchase right now. I'm just gonna make sure that I got all the events that have already occurred. There you go. When I click on events manager, as you can see, I have the view content event that has been received through the server. The setup method was a manual setup. Uh, so basically server, it means that it, it came through the conversions API. And um, I'll, I've got the subscribe button when I subscribe to the newsletter. If you can remember, uh, I subscribe to the newsletter with a, a random email. And this is all the user data keys that you are going to receive as a Squarespace e-commerce uh, website owner. You're going to get all these user data keys. And this is going to tremendously improve the quality and data precision of your pixels. Uh, your ad campaigns are going are gonna to do much, much better. So yeah, you get the country, city, email, external ID, browser ID, et cetera, et cetera, zip code of every single person that does any kind of event, even if they just view content, right? If they just view the content, you're gonna get all this information from each uh, person that views the content on your website. So now your pixel knows what kind of persona, what kind, what kind of client avatar clicks on your website and your pixel is able to target similar people as those because you did the tracking correctly right this is super important it's very difficult to run ads and to have profitable profitable campaigns if you don't have conversions api set up on your website we also have the add to cart uh, and as you can see with the correct value because it's 25 dollars the currency is usd uh the content type is product and we have product name i didn't set up any kind of name for the products it was just like an, uh, an example uh website it's a demo website so if you have, uh, I don't know, like hoodie or whatever the name of your brand, it's gonna be here, all right? And then we have initiate checkout. What's, interested, what's interesting in the initiate checkout event is that we have a different value than on the add to cart uh, because it has updated the actual value because we have the quantity now, right? It's two products for $25 each. Now the item price, the total price is $50 and we have the product name. And again, we have all the user data keys that we had. Now I'm gonna purchase and see what kind of events I'm gonna receive. Let's put a random email, a random name. So I'm gonna actually purchase the product now and let's challenge ourselves a little bit, all right? So instead of having two in the quantity, let's let's put four or you know what, let's put five and I wanna see if, if it's actually gonna uh, update it correctly in the new events that we're gonna receive. And uh, there you go, we can click on purchase, everything looks fine. So I'm gonna purchase my five products here. And there you go, uh, I am on a confirmation confirmation page, $125 for $25 each. So that's five products, all right? So let's go to the events manager. I'm gonna wait a couple seconds. And there's two events that we actually did now. 
after initiating checkout, there you go. We added payment information. So that's an important event. And now we have purchase. There you go. And as you can see in the purchase, we have the correct value and the correct updated quantity, which is five. So there's no missing data, no leak, uh, no leaks whatsoever. Whatever kind of event that happens or occurs on the website from a user, you're going to get it through the conversions API with the correct values. And this helps tremendously for your pixels. It like it's it's unbelievable. We um, run campaigns for clients and we see increase in performance of, of at least 30 percent when they install the conversions API. Uh, so it's very, very important. Your, your pixels just know what to do and know what kind of people to target because they have all these information here for each single event. So to set up your Convergence API, you can go to www.trypixelflow.com. The link is going to be on the first comment of this video and in the description. Um, and yeah, it's very easy to set up. I'm going to show you how you can just click on pricing uh, and you're going to have a seven day free trial. So you can just click and go ahead and do that. And when creating your account to get your seven day free trial, make sure that you select Squarespace because this app is also available for Webflow and Framer. Uh, we already have hundreds of users in those platforms and um, you know it's, it has been working tremendously well for the current users. So we decided to do this for Squarespace as well as we got some, um, you know, some people asking for it. All right, so I have now created my account. It's pretty basic, very simple. You're going to have an app card and the goal is just to first of all copy this code right this is the code for your application you're just going to have to copy and paste it in your squarespace website and then you're going to add as many pixels as you want uh, i'm going to just i'm just going to show you how to add one pixel but you can have many many pixels as backup if you ever get banned on one ad account or you get banned on one business manager and you lose all your pixels somehow uh, if you have multiple pixels on your website from different ad accounts, you make sure that you have backup and all this data, all the events that go through the Convergence API are going to be stored in each single pixel and you're going to be able to start new campaigns right away with your um, backup pixels. All right, so let's copy this code first. You can go to the settings and then you're going to go to developer tools and you're going to look for here in the search bar code injection. There you go. I'm going to click on that. As you can see, I have no code whatsoever. I've deleted my previous code and now I'm going to just do this step again with you and I'm going to paste my code. So don't forget to save your code and you can leave, uh, you know, you can leave your developer tools and go to go back to your website. So now that's perfect. I have added my code. The only step that you have left is to add your pixel or your pixels. You can have a lot. I'm just going to delete this one and do this step again with you, right? Let's click on add pixel. For pixel name, you could put whatever. I'm going to put Squarespace Ecom Conversions API. And I'm going to go back to my meta business suit. In your settings, as you can see here, you can go to data sources, data sets, and I have all my pixels here. I'm going to click on my Squarespace Ecom Conversions API. And there you go. You have your ID. So you can just copy this. This is your pixel ID that you're going to need. You can paste it here for Facebook pixel ID. You can paste it and then you need an access token. So let me show you how you can find your access token. You click on the three dots here to open the events manager. Once it's open, you can go to settings. Then you're going to scroll down a little bit and you're going to find generate an access token. So this is what's going to help for a customizable option to set up the Convergence API in Metapixel. This is exa exactly what we need. Oh, you're gonna copy this and paste it here for your access token. You can click on, uh, you can toggle the test pixel and add a test events code. So let me show you where you can get your test events code. If you go back to your events manager, you can click on test events. And let me clear activity to show you what your dashboard is going to look like first. Uh, you can click on this first tab and you're going to have your test events code right here. All right, you can copy. You can paste it right here. Add your pixel and boom, you are good to go. Everything is set up perfectly. And now if you want to do some tests, you can go to your website. Let's refresh quickly. And 
I'm gonna shop for a product just to add it to cart and have a couple of events. Uh, let me see the live version. I'm gonna let's click on this one. Click on the first product. Fifty dollars. I want to buy three of them. Add to cart. Boom. Click on cart. Check out. I'm not gonna do the whole demo again. I'm just clicking on on buttons to to see that events are firing correctly. Let me go back to my events manager. As you can see, I have view content, which is good. So that's for every page that I visit. I have the add to cart. And there you go. We also have the initiate checkout with the right values. There's a little feature here that you can use as well, which is tracking URLs. You can add any URL you have on your website. Um, so let's say you have like a random page that you want to track as well, like a confirmation page, a thank you page, um, really any page that you have, you can track it. So let's say, let's say I want to, I want to track the contact page or right? for any reason, when somebody lands on this page, I want to track it. Uh, I can go to the website and add this URL. And let's say I want to add the contact event, right? I can add the URL. Now you got to make sure that you copy the copy and paste the code again, right? So I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to save my code in the code injection and I'm going to come back. All right, so I have saved my code and now I, I want to make sure that the contact us page is tracked cor correctly. Again, this is just as an example. You don't need to, to track the contact us page this exact way. Uh, it's just for, for the use case uh, where you would have like a new page that you want to track for whatever reason, you know, like a thank you page. If you have a lead, you know, if you have leads, uh, this is very useful. So now I have visited this page. Let me just refresh and make sure that I got the contact event. There you go. I have the contact event. Uh, so yeah, this is how you can also track the URLs. So if you have any URL you want associated to an event, you can do that as well. So this is a super cool feature to add more flexibility. Uh, so thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to, to use the comment section and uh, see you soon.